my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the great outdoors. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Lynch of McGuanago, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Wings Over Wisconsin, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Kamik Law Firm, Kamalon Measuring Tools, Vexlar, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. You guys should already be in the boat. Let's rock and roll. Hey, and good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today we're up on the second largest lake in the state and this is part of my home water here and it's the Pete and Well Flowage and I'll tell you what, the bite has been pretty good. We got a perfect day, it's a very stained system. Sun is crucial here. A little bit of wind is always good, not too much. We're gonna be working brake lines and we're gonna be fishing anywhere from about eight down to about 22 feet of water using a variety of, of different kinds of baits. And we've actually got something new to show you, a new product from Acme. And we'll talk about that a little bit later in the show. Hey, and guess what? We got our good friends, the Quins with us today. We got Ray here and we've got our good friend Michael and then their son-in-law, Ray's son-in-law. Is he a good son-in-law, Ryan? Absolutely. He's a soul. And there's not gonna be any fighting in the boat today, is there? No, okay. no. That's a good Only thing. Only if we get the biggest fish. Okay, that sounds good. And Ray, you are known as the sheephead king, but <laughs> unfortunately the sheephead haven't been biting too well. Well, that's good to know. Yes, it is. Hey, so it's gonna be a great day. Let's see what happens today out here. This bite has been pretty good. And you know what? We're not that far off from hard water, and that's what we're doing out here. We're kind of searching to see where these fish are, are biting, try to get a pattern down so when it does freeze up, which it won't be too far down the road, hopefully in the next three or four weeks, we'll be out here on some hard water too. So stay tuned, let's see what happens this morning. Nice fish. Get the RS out for you. Okay. Nice job. There you go. You know what? I'll tell you something. That's a little small, but that's a typical fish on this body water. You know the nice hold that one up, Ryan. Nice part about this lake, you catch a lot of fish. That's a little better fish. I'm gonna keep the RS right next to me, I'll tell you that much. Next to you, well that's a better fish. So just, yep, nice, that one might make it, you know. The thing is, too, is let's measure that one. It's gonna be, I was gonna say, probably 14. I forgot my bump board today, so. Oh, that is good. I got a new ruler here. What do we got here? One of our new sponsors, Kamalon. It's got, on the end here, okay. I'm gonna bump the nose right there, just like a bump board. Squeeze the tail, 15 and a quarter, straighten the fish out. The law is you always have to squeeze the tail. And a lot of times that'll gain you that little extra bit. Now you can't, you can't stretch them like go like this, but you also just gotta squeeze that tail. Good job, you got the first legal. Nice right. job. Come on! Come on, Ryan, what the heck? Ooh, is that net worthy? Feel a little better? Talk to me, talk to me, son. No, talk to me. Ray, you might have to get a new son-in-law. Yeah, stop bragging about your fish, throw them back in. Congratulations, Mike and Tim Rowski. Winners of the Badger Sportsman Larry Smith Outdoors Fishing Trip Giveaway. 
The boys will receive a Kalen's fishing package and have a televised trip with Larry Smith right here on Larry Smith Outdoors. For a chance to win more great prizes and stay current on all things outdoors, subscribe to the Badger Sportsman magazine and tune in every week right here on Larry Smith Outdoors. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, Warrior Boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings over Wisconsin a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Oh, that's a dandy. That's a big fish. Yep, keep that rod bent over though. Because he's gonna come right off on you. You got one too? Okay, keep 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 that rod. Great, keep that rod bent over. Doing good. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a big fish. You know, that's a nice part about this system, is that like I said, you never know what you're gonna catch here. Oh man. Oh, oh my gosh! You see the size of this fish? Huge! Oh, I thought it was a walleye. It's a nice pike, though. It's a nice pike. You know, that's interesting because I'll tell you what. Wait, oh, Ryan, you got one too, huh? Hold that up to the camera, Ryan. There you go. You know what? You talk about variety, and I'll tell you a little bit of something, Ryan. Ryan and uh, Ray is that uh, I lost my train of thought there for a second, which is unusual. Hey, I'll tell you something. There's a 32 inch size limit on pike out here, but about 15, 18 years ago, there used to be a lot of pike in this system and they dropped the water level in the spring. And what happened is that a lot of these fish got killed. Here we go. I just put this new bait on by Acme. Yep, nice white bass too. Now this is a very unique bait. It kind of looks like uh, there's a couple other baits on the market that look the same way, but this is, this is really, very unique because I gotta show you guys just once I get this out of this white bass's mouth. Boy, he just smoked that thing. It's called a hyperglide, and what it is, it's a new bait by Acme, and it's very interesting. It's kind of like a jig and rappel, but what happens, it actually has wings on the side. So what happens when you jig it up and let it go back down, it o these wings open up, and it actually slows the bait down when you're vertical jigging it, and it kind of just pauses that bait and gives them fish a chance to hit it. Bumper fish, you might have the best fish of the day so far. So far, you got the best fish of the day. What am I saying? You got that nice pike. Why is it spinning? Ooh, well, you know what? That one's gonna be. That one's gonna be right there. Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I almost knocked him out of the boat with the RS. You know, that's a decent fish. That's probably going to go just over 15 inches. You know what, let's take a look at this. Well, this is a good fish. I'm going to need the nut. This is a good one. There, oh, there's a nice fish. There's a nice one. Got him right, right here. Put him right in the water. There's a nice fish. You got one too, Mike? Oh, hang on, Mike. Mike, you got one too? Yeah, holy man. Here, here, let's get that net going. Might need some more. Yours, that's a good fish too. Ooh, ooh. Yep, trying to wind him so. You got one, Mike? I tell you. Wow. 
This is Pete Noir Floage, I'm telling you. You know what? Some days you can catch quite a few legals. Some days you just catch a lot of fish, but you're always catching fish out here. That's what I love about that. There's yours, definitely not big enough. But this one right here, that's about 16 inches right there. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. You know, that's what we came here for, to get some fish to eat, and but to also to catch a lot of fish. That's that's the awesome part. Mike, I'll let yours go too. Yeah, right there. But it is, this is definitely a lake that you can come to, you know, either open water ice fishing and just catch a lot of fish, you know. And a friend of mine's got a real good bait shop called the Pete and Oil Sports Shop, and it's right in Monroe right there. You can give him a call, Matt Johannes over there, and he'll tell you, you know, if the fish are biting or not, and it's a great place to buy some bait. But let's give this one a measurement with our official ruler here for today. 16 and a half. Nose, 16 and a half. All right. Gotta love that boy and the fish are just piled down there. I love this stuff. See, it pays to keep moving, keep moving. You said, Dan, stay over there. I said, you know what? We're not catching enough, but let's move. I didn't say that. I heard you say that. Quinn, this one's for you, a walleye. See what we got here. Hang on a second. Ooh. Oh. You know what happens is that right here, there's in your, anywhere where the lines get tight, where the brakes are real tight, them are things you want to look for. But otherwise, you can see this whole jog right here, the lines come tight. And then there's like a corner right here where it cuts in, where another channel goes back in here. So this whole stretch right here is usually pretty good. But this is what I'm looking at. You know, when you're looking at your mapping chips, and even when you look way up here, anywhere where that contour, where you got sharp corners right there, little divots that come in and out, anything that's different on these, on these lines when you come through, that's the first key places that I go to when I'm coming out looking for fish out in this body of water. Definitely, this is a, a, definitely a structure-oriented body of water. Lots, of, obviously, lots of small wallies, but there's also lots of keeper size and a lot of big fish in this system. Unfortunately, what happened today, we only got two legals and a nice pike and a bunch of white bass, but what happened today, and I say this all the time, you know, when you get real warm weather in the fall like this, and it was cold for about three days, we really had some great fishing when it was cold. Then all of a sudden it warms up. What happens is actually the fish go back to more of a relaxed mode. So what you want, you want that cold days. I know it, you know, it's a lot nicer, obviously more comfortable being out here when it's a day like today, but the fish, in my experience, always bite better when you get them cold conditions. You start getting them cold nights. The only thing that will really put a damper on things is if you get, uh, you know, a day where it's real cold and it rains a lot, and that'll drop them water temperatures in real dramatic, you know, anywhere from four to six degrees. Now that will slow the fishing down a little bit, but typically if you get a cold nights, what's gonna happen in cold days, the water temperature will drop during the 24 hour period, usually about a degree to maybe two at the very most. And that's what you want. That puts them fish into a hyper mode, then they wanna feed up heavy before it gets too cold. Hey Dan, you know what I'm gonna do on the way home? What? I'm gonna let you drive, and guess what? I'm gonna finish catching up on rest of the articles that are in the Badger Sportsman magazine before the new magazine comes out. So I got a couple more articles to read on the way home. Thanks, buddy, for driving. You are gonna drive, right? Sure. Okay, good man. Maybe you'll learn something. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. 
And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilog, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jigging or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Hey Mark. Hey Larry. I finally get to meet you. I'll yeah, tell nice. you that. Likewise. Pleasure. Yeah. I tell you, I'm really pumped up about hunting out here. You know, I'll tell you, Mark, I gotta admit to you, the, the reason I chose you, and I'm lucky that you were able to fit me in here, is that I've heard nothing but great things about you. You know, and when I comes to business, you know, you can look in magazines and, and read things all you want, but word of mouth is such a great way of advertising. And I've had a couple of friends and clients hunt with you, and they've said nothing but great things about you. Not that I'm trying to butter wow. you up to get a great stand, <laughs> right? But you know what? You got a pretty unique situation going here, and uh, you don't take on a ton of hunters. And you know, we're only going to have two or three guys this yep. week in camp, and that's kind of a neat situation versus some of the other outfitters that I'd call that a lot of times have 10, 20 guys. In here right. and you know the other part I thought was pretty interesting about you Mark is that I didn't see anybody else or could be but you also hunt the Minnesota side too and tell me why is that right well Minnesota is a it's a sleeper area it's, yeah it's got the reputation to you know it, it doesn't have the reputation as Buffalo County but it, I think over the years it will it's starting to get that there's a lot of Giants getting killed big bucks huh? state record a couple years ago with the muzzleloader kill um, yeah it's I got hunters that have been with me for quite a few years, and after they sat some of those stands over there in Minnesota, that's where they want to be. They want to hunt Minnesota instead, yeah. huh? It doesn't have the pressure of Buffalo County. Right. Um, you can only kill one buck over there. It's, that's an it, interesting thing. Right, and they got a four point rule, so you got to have four points on one side. In okay. Order. So at least gives those bucks a, a solid chance to kind of get some age class, and that's right. what we're really here about. You know, scoring, you know, scores of bucks are, are nice. Everybody wants that big boon and sure. pocket, but I'm I'm an age guy, and it's like if you can shoot those four and a half and or older, right? You're going to retain that quality of class to have those four and a half and five and a half throughout the years. So they I, can do the breeding, right. so you can get them big bucks, right. right? Right, yeah. So it's a mirror image of Buffalo County. The train's no different. It was all kind of created the same way. They call this the driftless area. Down driftless, here. huh? Okay. Yep. And uh, yeah, the crops are big. The bucks are big. It's got all the habitat and all the hiding places these big boys need to in order to survive so wow it's one of a kind country down here i'm sure you saw it as you're you know, yeah i did it's very unique yep. beautiful country and i've had uh, i've had definitely the opportunities to fish the mississippi yep. river several times and i just look at that vast area and think wow there's a lot of potential here to grow some really big deer yeah in all the stories and the pictures that i've heard and seen over all the years that right. yeah it's one of them kind of things where i'm pumped yeah the quality deer management down here has been since going on since the early 80s so with all the land workers and landowners uh, working together you know that's really provided something special in this area that's awesome hey you know I know that last week the weather's been super warm and this week it finally started cooling down a little bit I mean that's gonna help things out too your timing couldn't be any better I mean you know I hope I'm not biting my tongue later on that <laughs> one but it's uh, I checked cameras this morning and things are really a lot of up. activity huh? finally getting some morning activity okay. midday activity and I think it's like one o'clock right now and if I can't get you in a stand soon we might be a little late so. well, let's hurry up and do All that right. then All I right. appreciate sounds that good. I'm gonna get my gear yeah, on I'll and let's go ready. out and do so, some hunting sounds good
Shotgun Steve Schaefer in the kitchen today. A couple weeks ago, I ground up some burger. We made nachos with it. I got the leftovers, pulled it out. I'm all alone, no one's in the house today. I am watching the Badgers today. I'm gonna take a little Lowry's. I don't know if you do this, people, but season it now. Take a little open pit. You can use whatever flavor barbecue sauce you want. Put it in there. And I take, I already cut up a little sweet Vidalia onion. And here's where you get dirty. Mix it up. You can see got the George Foreman sitting over here ready to go. Family's not home today. Daddy's gonna have fun, watch the Badgers play. She's been in there for exactly five minutes in the George. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna pull that out. Look at that nice color of that. I'm gonna see what happens if I put my bread in there once. Put a little cheese on there. I'm going a little provolone. Some fresh tomatoes out of the uh, my garden. I did the old tomatoes, you hear that? It's like NASCAR and tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm pulling the bread out. Ooh. Oh. Look at that. Sure is nice to be home alone on a Saturday watching the Badger oh, game. Just in time. There goes my whole dang day, guys. Dad, didn't I help you make that? So I should have. Yeah, it. well, let me finish it first. Mustard. <laughs> Guess what about that? That means you won't eat it if I put mustard. Ketchup. Ooh. All right, remember now there's barbecue sauce, onions. You weren't here when I made this. Texas toast. You want me to cut it in half or what do you want to do? You want me to cut it in half or what do you want to do? I'll cut it in half. What the heck? <laughs> uh, I, I'm so much for a peaceful Saturday watching the Badgers. Let's see what she looks like inside though. See if I did a good job. Venison burger with Texas toast. Saturday Badger game. We have mice. Look at the mice. Yeah. What the? Davy's orthodontist. I think it's poisonous. From the, <laughs> from the shotgun kitchen, there's a darn good burger. Go Badgers. Go Badgers. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and Hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Ice fishing just around the corner, it's time to gear up. Check out the new Pro Skimmer by Deep Freeze. Offered in 6 inch, 8 inch, and 10 inch models. The fastest ice skimmer on the market. And once you're ready for those tip ups, don't forget about Blue Tips. The first tip up alert system sent straight to your smartphone. Free app available on Android and iOS. Check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers.
interesting. That was a little very remote. We have a north wind that's kind of blowing right at our back. And I was worried about the deer scenting us, but having that dog come in, she was there for probably 20 minutes. She never scented us. We're in this box blind, and I've got all the windows closed except for one. So, bless me, I'm our sun block suits on, so it really kept that scent down. And I know for sure because that deer walked up within about two feet of the blind. I actually thought she was gonna stick her head in here. Hey, Mr. Hey, I gotta ask you something. You know, over the course of the week, I've been eating pretty darn good. I guess uh, I gotta ask you, do you ever have anybody not leave? Yeah, right. Right, because I tell you, I don't have it quite this good at home. Well, it's Friday and you're still here, so that's right. good. That's, good. <laughs> that's because you do such a great job, I'll tell you that. Hey Mark, had an absolutely hey. awesome time. Thank you very much. You know what? I had my golden opportunity at a giant buck, and you know what? I had nobody to blame but me on that situation. But absolutely awesome time, awesome accommodations. You know what? This is definitely a true, a true experience here, and I think that a lot of guys that watch our show would love to come out and try to give this a try and have a shot at a monster buck like that. And if they want to, how can they get a hold of you? Well, you can get a hold of me at my website. Uh, check that out at shootersoutpost.com or my email at mark at shootersoutpost.com or phone number 715-456-4270. Awesome, thanks Mark. Oh, I appreciate yep. it man, have nope. a great time. All right, hey, that's it. that's it for this week's show and you know what I always say, it's a great night to be alive. But we crop <laughs> <laughs> And I'm supposed to go bow hunting next week. <laughs> Brad, I'm gonna kill you for giving me this. Bad cough. I'm gonna have to put two straps on that tree stand tonight. <laughs> I'm not much of a drinker, but I definitely had to have a few drinks after this deal.